Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack, if you don't know me already. I'm in Hastings in East Sussex, Battle of Hastings, 1066. There you go, quick fact for you. So I'm taking you on a walking tour of the seafront. I've only been here like twice in my life and they were just like flying visits, so I don't really know what's about. So let's go and see what it has to offer. Guys, if you don't mind hitting that subscribe button below, it would really help me out and then you can join me on more of my adventures. Let us get straight into it. Welcome to Hastings, let's go. So Hastings, here we are. Really weird, because if you go round that corner there, it's kind of towards Romney Marshes and Dimchurch, where I recently did a vlog. But this feels like it's like miles away from that. And then further down, Folkestone. So this is it, Rockanore Car Park, or Rockanori. I had to go and park it just because of the name. It's like Jack and Nori, but rock. Rockanori. And you could pay on the Ringo app, which is my favorite app. Squawky hanging over the edge there. I love the dramatic cliffs as well. There's a great more secluded beach down here. On a hot summer's day, that'd be great to go down and just relax. Hastings has an aquarium as well. So, aquarium there, shipwreck museum here, free entry. What an anchor. I really like this road with its quaint shops, its houses. There's people stopped all over the place. Cars and lorries stopped everywhere. Here's the deal, we're starting down at this car park where I parked. I'm gonna walk along the seafront a bit. I'm gonna walk up to the cliffs, through the old town, back on the seafront, back again, back again, and back again. Too early for a pint, I think. What is it? Just gone sun up. Stop, look, and listen. I think we're okay. For those that are interested in toilet culture, huge, free public toilet there. Not often you can go to the toilet for free. Right, let's go and get a coffee. This place looks extremely bean to cupish. Okay, let's do this. Oh, I would not want to do a hill start up there. No way. I feel like Slugworth could just jump out at any minute and offer me 500 mil tickets for a gobstopper. What the hell? That parking though. Oh, they've got their handbrake on. This is so weird. I was just on the beach and now look. Now look, I'm on like a cliff. It's insane. So that's Hastings Castle there. You can see the pier hidden down below. Look at that. You think Hastings is limited to just a seafront. And you've got this whole world of history just up a cliff. Here we go. 625 entry. A fire down there. I didn't want to go in there. I don't like to get too bogged down in history, you know. It gets a bit too intense. This channel is just very straightforward. It's very, uh, you know, A to B, bangers and mash, that sort of thing. So let's just keep it friendly, all right? A dog. Wow. Imagine living there. Taking the dog for a walk in the morning up on the West Hill. Imagine being a skateboarder and just skating down here. Catherine Cookson lived here. Wow. This is honestly nuts. Oh, hello. Welcome to the old town. Antique shops, odds and sods. Oh, this is much more my tempo. Look at some of this stuff. 50p each for this can of something, whatever that is. Maintenance solution. 
of these old cars. Whoa, look at that. I'll tell you what, I wish you could have smelt that place. It smelt fantastic. An old carpet smell. You have to be there to believe it. Now that does look old. Oh, Greece. Doggies. Ah. Oh. oh, the amount of antique shops, vintage shops, fudge shops. When I got here, I was actually worried that there wouldn't be anywhere to get a coffee. Literally every other shop is a coffee shop. Mind blowing. I love old bookshops like that as well. You could probably find some absolute gems. Like George Brown's Sacrifice. Wow. Air raid shelter. Look at some of this stuff. Closed today. And so you can get the cliff lift up to West Hill. So guys, you've got to get down here just for the old town alone, honestly. That is worth a trip in itself. If I had more time, I'd go in all the bookshops, all the antique shops. You've got to get down here, seriously. Look how cool this building is. It's a Turkish restaurant. That was a fire I saw earlier. Look at the brigade here. Terrifying. We've just done a short walk, but look at that view up to that cliff lift. It's such a shame that's closed. And also a miniature railway, which runs down the seafront. You can get a single fare for £2.50. There's one person on it. Is this line electrified? I'm going to have to step over it. Whoa! What's that? It's like Brands Hatch around here. Look at this lake. So calm. And from the time, or from the times that I've been to Hastings, this is what I remember, like this kind of seafront amusement park. It looks like quite a good roller coaster there. Wild mouse. And a star flyer as well. None of that's open today. Let's keep on cruising. What's that? It's like a pirate ship that's been parked up. What is that? Guys, if you're enjoying this video, like I hope you are, please do give it a thumbs up with the like button below. And if you're really, really liking it, please subscribe to the channel. Imagine seeing more walks down a seafront like this. We've got this miniature golf course here, which is very cool. Shall I have a game on my own? 1v1 or 1v none? I just read that this is the official mascot of Hastings. This is Professor Huggy Bears. I'm only joking, I just made that up. Hello. Meh. The amount of dogs I've seen this morning. <laughs> if you look at the top of there, that stony thing, that's part of Hastings Castle. Where I just was. I love this little stretch as well. I'll set back from the road a bit. Very quiet, some nice benches to sit on, have a coffee. Again, this feels so different from the other seaside towns I visited. Very traditional, very historical. Only a few miles down the coast from Brighton, but feels like a million times removed. What's an Iceland doing here? Jesus, I need a drink. Sports Direct, pound stretcher. What is this all about? The last thing I remember is ordering a half pint of mild. My friends, I want to hear from you. If you live here or if you're a regular visitor to Hastings, what is your favourite part of the town? Please comment down below, I'd like to know. So it feels like very much leaving the old town behind now as we approach the pier. Look at some of these flats up here, and hotels. You can really imagine just like retiring down here, just only ever coming out to get a beer or a coffee. I love this as well, look, all these buildings are pretty level and then bang. This building thought, now nah, I'm gonna have an extra four floors. Well, I've never heard of that before. True Crime Museum, pretty cool. And you know what? There is no shortage of places for food and drink. 
This woman here is carrying a papoose with what looks like a torpedo in it. Looks like the top of the heads of one of those Eiffel 65 Blue Dabadee aliens. The White Rocks Theatre has had many acts over the years featuring the wonderful Bobby Davro, Duncan James from Blue, and most recently the UK Pink Floyd Experience. It's made it onto the pier, wow. It's a bit indie on here, it's a bit hipster, it's a bit shoreditch, it's a bit trendy. Wow, this is freaky. Hang about. Rooftop bar, cocktails and tea and coffee. Oh my god, we need to, come on, we need to. Oh, how disappointing. This is well and truly firm, eh? Looks like Festival Central down here. Well, it might not look like we've come far, but that's about a mile we've walked. I can't complain that some of this stuff is closed. I mean, it is off-season. I'm lucky to be here at all. You keep on going down there, it's St. Leonard's, Bex Hill, and then I have a feeling on the corner, Eastbourne. What the hell? Look, cuttlefish. I always love these bits under the pier. Usually you get a few undesirables down here, but no one's here. What kind of bird is that? Does anyone know? High street area, which I'm not much of a fan of. Way too much busyness, but worth a little look. KFC, McDonald's, Costa, Cafe Nero, Subway, you know the deal. Let's get out of here. All right, I'm out of juice. Set me free, or whatever Anastasia said. I keep seeing this donut man everywhere I go. This is a lot more calm and tranquil than some of the amusement arcades I've been in. Ooh. Feels good to be alive. They're bringing deal or no deal back, aren't they? Narl Edmonds. It's a grand building for a casino slash arcade. I could not resist. A crisp pint. That's all that's left of that boat from earlier mere shadow of his former self. Guys, I always say this, if there's anything I missed today or if there's anything that I should have seen, please do comment down below. So what did I think of Hastings? I thought it was up there with top five, definitely. Definitely one of the weirdest coastal towns I visited, in a good way that is. Um, it feels very old, a lot of history behind it. So much to see and do. I'll definitely be coming back. It's definitely top five seaside towns I've been to. I especially like the old town and the, um, and the West Hill and the castle, that bit up there, it's crazy. But now I must dance. And so we end the day watching the waves come in. All right guys, that's the end. Thanks for indulging me as you always do. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. If you haven't been to Hastings before, I hope this has persuaded you to come. If you have visited Hastings before, I hope this has brought back memories for you. If you want to see more seaside towns like this, please see the links over there. Otherwise, see you on the next one. Thanks a lot.